Today you join me on board hole number one of the Long Range Cruiser 65. This extremely capable Explore Yacht is currently going through the final stages of her commissioning, but the owner has kindly agreed to let me come on board and show you around. The narrow, low volume design of the hull on the LRC 65 is instantly recognisable amongst the Explore Yacht community. I really can't wait to show you around hole number one of the LRC 65. But before I do, don't forget to give the video a like and also please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The extended wheelhouse roof of the LRC 65 makes it possible to install 16 solar panels, which will give a yield of around 6.8 kilowatt hours. Meanwhile, the alloy weight of the vessel is around 8.2 tonnes compared to 5 tonnes for the LRC 58. A displacement will be between 22 to 25 tonnes depending on payload. She has a cruising speed of around 9 knots, which will give her a range of 4,000 nautical miles. However, if you reduce that speed by just one knot, the range goes up to an incredible 6,000 nautical miles with a 5% reserve. So over here on the port side of the cockpit, we have a U-shaped seating area. What this also means is that this gives a little bit more headroom in the engine room as well. Now, because the boat is in the middle of being commissioned, you won't be able to go down into the engine room just yet, but make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I will be coming back to film a follow-up video once the boat has been fully commissioned. Uh, over here on the starboard side, this is where the barbecue will be underneath there. If we spin around over there on the starboard side, you see the access down into the engine room. Uh, and also you find as well down here, we have the utility space. So you've got a dryer and a washer down there as well. Uh, but also something to bear in mind with this boat that she is self-writing. This really is an extremely capable Explore Yacht that you can take out in pretty much any weather conditions. But yeah, look at the threshold as well on this door. As we go into the saloon, look at that. All right, let's move forward. Open this up, look, still got the wrapping on that. As I say, the boat is in the middle of being commissioned, so we're really lucky to get on board and see her at this stage. And one of the first things you'll notice is just how quiet it is in here. I mean, the wind out there is absolutely howling. The noise or the wind hitting the rigging out there really is something. But in here, you can't hear anything at all. But yeah, so we've got an open plan, the kind of living arrangement here with a galley on the starboard side, seating area over here on the port side. Nice U-shaped seating arrangement. But look at the view. These massive windows, reinforced windows, of course. We get a great view all around the boat. All right, let's head over here onto the starboard side, show you the galley. Obviously got the oven over here. And we move into the galley area. Got the stainless steel sink and lots of storage. As if trash goes in there, look. More storage in there. And open these up. All your cutlery stowed away nicely. In case you're wondering, there is a dishwasher on here as well, which is under there, look. So no excuse for not doing the washing up. We'll have a look at the helm station in a minute. First of all, let me take you down into the first part of the accommodation area. Head down these steps, so we're over on the port side now. And we've got a double cabin here. Plenty of space, lots of natural light coming in, thanks to the porthole over there. But yeah, it's a really big size, about a two meter bed that is. Over here on the starboard side of this cabin, you've got a little seating area so you can sit down there, you know, catch up with your emails, um, watch some YouTube, maybe one of my videos, if you find yourself browsing on YouTube. Let's step in and shut that door. I'll show you as well, I've got some storage space over here, some hanging locker storage space. It's worth mentioning as well that Art Nautica do allow a certain amount of customization on these vessels. Okay, let's spin around, come outside. You have another fridge in there as well. 
Let's spin around. And here we have the shower. And of course the sink. There's some storage underneath that for all your toiletries and the toilet over there as well. Little heated towel rail and a skylight that can be opened up to allow some additional ventilation uh, into this space. Let's head back up into the main saloon. Something else I want to show you as well is when I show you this hatch here, you probably have a vision in your mind of how big this space will be under here, as I did when I first saw it. But if I open this up and show you inside, you can actually see, look, we've got another fridge freezer over there, a battery bank there. And if I spin around, you can see we've got the gyro stabilizer just there as well. So yeah, I can't wait to come back and show you this uh, area once it's all finished. Let's shut this. I'm gonna take you up to the helm station now. Of course, got the other fridge there as well. Okay, let's shut that, spin around and take you up to the helm station. So it does have a single engine. Uh, this particular boat has a variable pitch propeller as well. Um, and the pitch of the propeller is controlled uh, using these controls. So you, as well as the engine forward astern, you also can control the pitch of the propeller uh, via that as well. Over here, we have the control for the rudder. Of course, Furuno, latest Furuno gear on this boat. Bow thruster, the boat will have a stern thruster uh, on here as well. And here we have the digital charts with an area over here that you can use as well. Have a look at that skylight. Look, there's so much natural light in here. And if I sit down, you get a great perspective of what you can see when you're sitting down, relaxing, enjoying the view. I was talking to the owner as well, who kindly enough has uh, let me stay on board to do this filming. And I asked him about, will you be having a chair there? Because I know in some of my other videos, some of the boats that I feature, they don't have helm chairs because a lot of the time you can just put the autopilot on and just monitor everything whilst you're sat in this particular area. But he told me you will be having a helm chair on there as well. But yeah, look at this, these huge windows. Look at that view as well. You know, some boats you can just look at and instantly know that you're on something that is really special when it comes to sea keeping capabilities. Uh, and this is definitely one of those boats. Right, let's descend now into the owner's cabin. Let me show you this. All the fuses there, look brand new, just been installed, not been fully commissioned yet, but look, give you that little sneak peek. Let's shut that, spin around. So yeah, we're in the owner's cabin now, and as you can see, got lots of hanging wardrobe space. Nice area here that you can sit and set your stuff up. A little vanity area. And look out that porthole. A very, very windy Holland. Obviously that's got a shutter, so you can shut that. Moving forward, spin around over to port. Here we have the owner's bed, big decent sized bed there with some storage underneath. Let's spin around and take you into the owner's bathroom. And here we have the large shower there. Another skylight that can be opened up to allow some ventilation into this area. Obviously you've got the toilet and the sink over there as well. There's some storage underneath. The boat has enough capacity for around 2,600 litres of water, which is around 680 gallons, and 200 litres of black water, which is around 63 gallons. If you want to as well, say for example, if you happen to wake up before your partner, you can shut this space off by closing that door all the way if you wanted to, obviously. Let me move forward. And I'll show you this area here. So say for example, if your partner's still asleep or they want to get an early night, you want to sit, relax, enjoy some TV. You've got this snug area here, which I really, really like. Let's see if you can name that part of the world. I'll let you know at the end of the video. Another skylight up there. You saw the various skylights all in a single line from the view 
uh, from the helm position. And there we see the inside of that skylight. As you can tell, lots of natural light coming into this area. If we sit down over here, you can just imagine sitting back, relaxing. You've got a TV that will pop up here. It's not been installed yet, but as you can see, it's kind of flush uh, when it's in the retracted position. But yeah, you can sit back, put the TV up, enjoy the view, looking at starlit sky whilst you're on the way. And yeah, just take everything in. Yeah, it's such an honor to be the first person on this boat or the first YouTuber on this boat. I really can't wait to come back and show you uh, the finished item. So over here, obviously we've got another cabin, twin single cabin in a bunk configuration. Uh, if you did want to have crew on board, then this would be an ideal space uh, for your crew. The owner operates this boat uh, with him and his wife, so they don't need any crew. But if a future owner wanted to, then yeah, you could have some crew in here. Open up that, look, we've got some more storage space in there. And some more storage space in there. When it comes to engines, then you can either have a 147 horsepower Iveco engine, or if you wanted more horses to play with, then you can have a 225 horsepower John Deere engine fitted instead. Fuel capacity wise, she has enough tankage for 6,950 litres of fuel, which is around 1,830 gallons. I say a massive thank you to the owner of this beautiful boat for allowing me to come on board and give you a sneak peek, a sneak look around before the boat is fully commissioned. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be coming back probably in the next few weeks once she's finished the sea trials to show you the completed boat. I really can't wait to show you around uh, once the commission has been completed. So don't forget to give the video a like and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because in the next few weeks I will be jumping aboard the Anne S. Pierce in order to make a walkthrough video. If you love trawler style motor yachts then you will love this converted trawler. And if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out the video that I made about the Arxon 85. I will leave a link to the video in the video description. I'll also leave a link to the video that I made about the XPM 78 that was recently launched. Again, you'll find all the relevant links in the video description, or you can follow the link that I'll pin in the comments.